Blind Spot series premiere. Now, just to start things off, I don't know about you guys, but the only reason that I was initially even interested in this show was because of the main male lead, Sullivan Stapleton. He is in another show that I'm currently reviewing called Strike Back, and that's like an amazing, crazy, crazy action show. Like, take the action that was in this and multiply it like times a million. Like, we, even at the peak of this show, it won't reach the levels of Strike Back, because that's like just some crazy Cinemax, like, just army crazy action stuff but initially i was like all right i like to support actors that i think are good in other shows that i like and so i was like all right i'm gonna watch his show there's another show um coming on nbc thursday i forgot the actual name but the other main lead from the show strike back is in that so like both of them went to two shows and i'm like crap i gotta watch them both but i enjoyed this show it was really cool it did have an awesome premise too it was like initially it was just like oh i like that actor because he's in this show that I really enjoy. But the premise is really cool. I, I always love a really good mystery show. And this is like just a bunch of, you know, sort of just action things just gelled right into one. Of course, you have Amnesia. Um, the super simple answer, of course, the Jason Bourne thing that's probably at this point when any action character has Amnesia and they have like skills that they, you know, remember in the moment. It's always going to be attributed to, you know, like the Bourne series at this point. That's just how it is. Those series just, you know, did really well. So when anything happens like that, that's what you kind of think of. So, of course, it kind of has that element to it. But the whole tattoo thing and all these different um, clues and stuff like that, that's the real big mystery. And all of these tattoos have a bunch of different answers. So... You know, in this first episode, we got, like, two little clues. First, we got to find out that Jane is actually, or was at least, a part of the Navy SEALs, which apparently doesn't have, there are no female Navy SEALs. So, it was, like, a weird secret thing there. And then we had, like, the little numbers um, at the end of the episode are revealed to be a uh, case file number. So, you know, we get to see that, and pretty much all we see is, like, the word murder and everything else is blacked out. And when something's, basically, when something's blacked out by the government and it's, it's called being redacted, that's really serious stuff. Like, that is as high as it gets. When they have it, like, here's, here's all the information on the file and it's black line after black line and you get, you know, one word here and there, that's some insanely important government type stuff. So, whatever she was involved in before she turned... Um, or before she, you know, lost her memory, it was a big deal. And then even after that, it seemed like, like, it, I'm just, obviously it's the first episode, so I'm trying to figure out sort of the line of her character before she got amnesia. And I think she was a part of the Navy SEALs, and then she met whoever the guy is, who is also from another show. He's from The 100. He was on that show um, in the previous season. But... I think she was in the Navy SEALs, and then, well, for whatever reason, she met that guy, or maybe it kind of went back and forth, because she was training and running through the forest and stuff, kind of shooting at the little metal plates, and I was like, all right, so she already had some skills, she hit, like, most of them, she missed two, so, I, you know, that could have easily just been more advanced training after being in the Navy SEALs, and it's, you know, running just with a single handgun, it's not like, standing still like there's one person there's another person and you know these are little targets just in the forest so it was really interesting like i'm trying to kind of mess around and see what's this what this timeline is like i said the redacted stuff at the end of the episode means she was a high-ranking official and she did some really really crazy stuff that the government wants to keep you know hidden so I'm not 100% sure, like, obviously, it's, once again, the first episode, you're not, we're not supposed to know anything, really, but I like the concept, it was really cool, um, it, it, it did answer one question right off the bat, because I never even thought about it until the episode played out, I just thought, oh, they found this woman, you know, these are just the main characters, and he got assigned to it, or whatever, and then, you know, in the beginning of this episode, it's like, no, the reason that the main character is the main character is because his name is flat out tattooed right on her back. So, you know, he's a very important clue to, you know, whatever is going on. They do, like, of course, what's happening in the season. And 
he figures it out eventually. So I'm glad that they don't keep that a secret for too long. And I'm very curious, of course, as to why his name was put on there other than anyone else. But so far, we kind of have three people who are somewhat involved. He's never met her before, but odds are he met um, the guy. Either he met the guy or there was some mission where they were, you know, the three of them were somehow involved with each other. Or maybe it was just, you know, two out of the three. In some aspect, they were involved in the same mission and they just never came across each other or what. But I like the concept. The action, of course, was cool. The mystery was definitely well done. We get a, a nice, you know, sort of robust cast of characters. Everyone kind of has the different skills. We have, like, the science guy. We have the tech genius who's, like, she scans all the tattoos and starts to, you know, she's the first one to kind of bring certain things to light. We have, of course, our two leads, one of which has amnesia, but, like, super ninja skills. She's just, like, beating people up. The other is a trained officer. And then he has his, well, I, I guess there's his subordinates on this specific case. And so we have one woman, she's the hacker. The other guy's kind of the most typical character, I guess, at this point at least. But he's, like, just the other cop, really. And then we have the boss who, you know, she figured out this secret. And it's, like, the first thing that she kept. And it was, I was kind of surprised by that, where she learns this thing. And I guess because it's redacted, it's like, I have to kind of process this and figure out what the f am i dealing with now and when i find this case file and it's just black line after black line and then it's like oh murder and then just black lines all over again so i kind of understand why she kept it a secret but i like um the variety of the characters and how everyone has their set skills and stuff like that and i think this is going to be a pretty good show i'm excited for it i think it has a really good mystery. It's getting, like, really great reviews from critics and stuff. I haven't looked at anything outside of, of course, what they've played in the commercials where it's like, oh, the next Blacklist, which I've never seen, but I know that's fairly popular. And it just gets, you know, it's been getting good critic reviews, so hopefully, you know, the m momentum keeps up. I think this was definitely a good first episode. Um, I'm excited to see how they do the flashback stuff where certain things trigger certain flashbacks and of course that's how we're going to get some answers um i don't know it would be interesting to see if her fighting again brings out something else but we did get a clue out of her fighting because um our main character well i guess they're both main characters really um but our male lead i can't think of his actual name i can only think of the actor's name but he mentions like based on what he saw she trained at a local dojo so it was like it was kind of just thrown in there it's like this is you know it's not a hundred percent but this is based off of what i know it seems like you train somewhere within the city and you that's how you got these skills so that could easily come up like they kind of brushed over it in this episode because you know we have to stop a terrorist and all this craziness but it could come back up in the next episode or you know a couple episodes down the line and it's just little stuff like that where she might do something that the other characters might recognize and it's like okay you might not recognize what you just did, but that's something I'm familiar with from this specific thing, and that's how we'll get answers. And I, I like that aspect where other characters can see what she's doing, and it's like, okay, well, that makes sense. You know, like the Navy SEAL thing, when they once they got the information on the tattoo, it's like, okay, well, <laughs> that explains a lot of information of how she can just whoop people up and just, you know, shoot like she can. Although, she, I guess, technically, she only shot one guy, but how she can fight the way that she can, how she has you know, these specific skills and things like that. So I think this was a good first episode. I'm definitely excited to get some of these answers. Like I said, I love a great, you know, big mystery when a show is centered around, like, just this huge mystery. Um, I love the design of it, like her being, you know, covering all these different tattoos, and it's pretty much head to toe. So there's so much stuff, and we've really only scratched the surface. It's like big name on the back, uh, black patch for an old tattoo and then the case file and then the stuff that they use um for the answers specifically in this episode and then you know we have the villain where it's like you know the guy you know he goes and kills the guy off at the end of the episode and it's like you know it was your life for your sister's life why was that important all the you know a million questions of course but i'm looking forward to getting the answers i think this was a great first start action was good the mystery definitely has me involved. They had an amazing opening scene, the Times Square scene in the beginning. 
I love that. That was actually pretty amazing. And it's like, you know, it's really simple. It's just like, okay, it's Times Square. And then the cop is like, is that your bag? Is that your bag? And then it's like, boom, Times Square is completely emptied out. I didn't even realize what happened at first. I thought it was like a weird dream sequence for a second. And I'm like, oh, no, they just flat out emptied out the whole thing. Sorry about that. Um, but it was like they emptied out the whole thing. And it just, it was really cool, especially at night. Because, I don't know, something about it. Because it, it looked like it was really dark. And I think that's what really threw me off. It was like, they, it almost looked like they turned off most of the TVs. And it was almost, like, just really dark, and it was, like, you could see, but it wasn't, like, you know, lit up Times Square almost, so, I love that, it was really cool, it was also kind of funny when the guy freaked out, like, there's something in here, so, that was probably, like, the funniest thing, um, in the whole episode, like, there isn't really any comedy in this so far, it's, like, very small moments of comedy, but that just made me laugh a lot, he was, like, really freaked out, like, holy crap, like, this, this isn't a bomb, there's, like, something moving, but, I like the first episode, of course. I want to know what you guys thought about this, so please comment below. Let me know your favorite parts, your least favorite parts. And, of course, I have to ask if this first episode, you know, did the trick for you. Like, are you hooked for this series? Did it, you know, not do enough? Was the mystery not good enough? Was, you know, I don't see how the action couldn't be good enough unless you just wanted the whole thing to be action. But I think they're in a great action, you know, display just for the first episode. So... I want to know if this show has you guys hooked for a full season or if you're, you know, you gave it a shot, but you kind of just let it fall to the wayside. So please comment below, let me know, and thanks for watching.